Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Victoria. Today I'm going to be doing something that a lot of YouTubers have been doing. TikTokers, just people during quarantine have been making banana bread. So I've already made two batches of banana bread. I'll put a picture in this video of my two batches. Well, it's just one batch that I took a picture of. But um, today I'm going to be making banana bread for my grandma and grandpa and my aunt Juju and her family because I wanted to make some more banana bread but our family doesn't need any more because basically these are the pans that i made it in and we made a lot of it so we ate like two batches of banana bread we don't need any more so i'm gonna go and get the stuff and i'll bring it in and then whenever i'm ready to start cooking i'll show y'all okay so right now i'm gonna show y'all everything you're gonna need for it i followed this recipe right here from gimmedelicious.com i found it on lauren diy's channel so i'm going to show you all everything and each of the things that you're going to need so here's an overview of it everything you're going to need so starting over here these are just some reusable or not reusable but you could just give them to people and put your banana bread in it like pans you need eggs bananas milk honey these are both honey because i'm almost out of that one cinnamon baking soda salt vanilla extract and those are both flour and the milk bananas so you're gonna need two big bowls. Um, this is kind of hard to set my phone. Okay. I'm sorry if anything falls. So first of all, I'm gonna start um, getting all of the different things in the bowls. And then once I start to mix stuff, I'll show you all that. Here I have my liquid part. My bananas are over here. I'm probably gonna mash them a little bit more. And then this is the solids. Um, I'm going to probably whisk that. Earlier I did the white solid like a while ago. And then here's everything that I was messing around with over here. I need to clean that up later. Um, I'm going, all I said on the paper is to combine everything together. And then I'm gonna put half of it in this one and half of it in the other one. So whenever it's all mixed together, I'll show y'all that part. And then, um, yeah, ew. <laughs> so guys, here it is all mixed together. It's obviously not combined yet, so I'll show y'all in a few seconds. So kind of balancing on a potato thing, <laughs> but I'm gonna go get a little thing so I can mix it all together. And I might also use the whisk. I actually doubled everything. I don't know if I said that. And I have to be really careful about how I mix this. I don't want it to go overboard or anything. Because one time I tried to show my friend on FaceTime. And then it did. It went all over the place. Not that bad. but So yeah, in the beginning, if I didn't say that I was gonna double everything, because if it's easier than having to make like two batches, I was gonna make it tomorrow, but I had a few hours empty for myself to do this, so I decided to do it. Plus, I've been wanting to make a banana bread video or a cooking video, so this is a good day to do it. Saturday, where it's empty and free, you know. I'm also going to use the whisk because it's not dirty. Well, it's not like too dirty that I can't use it. It's getting to look familiar color, you know, like when I made it last time. But my hands were hurting because I had to double everything. My family's in there um, doing games and my mom's making something for their, her parents for Mother's Day and their anniversary, so... I had a really fun time making this. I love to make food. Well, currently during quarantine, I don't usually sit around and make food during school days, you know? Because I made the first one with my dad and I made the second batch by myself. This is my third and fourth, I guess you could say. Third slash fourth, you know? So I'm gonna get a napkin and put this whisk to the side. 
um, and use this one. That's not a whisk, that blue thing. It's like a spatula. Yeah. I'm gonna use the spatula to make it a little bit together because I don't know what it looks like underneath and I don't wanna ruin it. The oven's already preheated. You're supposed to do that beforehand. I will also get the link, put it down below. Some people don't say that they're gonna do that, but I'm going to. Also, another one I'm gonna try is called Triple Walnut Brownies. This is the recipe to that. I haven't made it yet, but if you wanna take a screenshot of that, here you go. Um, maybe next week I'll make that. So we have all the ingredients for it. It's just, I haven't done it yet. There's not like a um, amount of time you're supposed to mix it for. Um, just I had trouble mixing like the eggs up and stuff. So. Okay, now I'm going to stir the, um, I'm about to say oatmeal because it looks like oatmeal, but I'm gonna show y'all before and after of this and what it looks like in the pans. Oh. Now I'm gonna pour it into those pans right there. Let's do it. So this one is gonna be for my grandparents, or I mean, we're not gonna really say which one is for who, but who? That's great. Is that the hundred? Is that yours? Can can you hold this while I pour it in? Or I slip spoon it in. Guys, you hold the pan really tightly Stop. like this while your associate pours on the batter. No, I'm saying, can you hold this while I scoop it in? Oh, just pour it. No, I don't want it. I want it to go in like. That's gonna take too long. Okay. Stupid one. Really? Then I can just do it. I'm afraid it's if you that may go as yeah, that's too much. Really? That's why I was gonna put half and half. Oh, sorry. You can scoop some out and put it in the bag. That's why I was gonna use that thing. Sorry. Really? I don't know what you're doing. Okay. Well, I have to redo it. I'll be so guys, I'm going to show you. <laughs> that was the lid though. This is the lids for my grandparents and my aunt. So I'll show you like the end, the aftermath of this, like all the dirty stuff. So I have to put up all of the different items, measuring cups that are dirty. I'll put it in the sink. Those are the eggs and the whisk. The thing is dirty, so I have it on my phone though, so I'm not just, I don't wanna keep reusing paper, so I'll just throw that away. This is the two bowls. This had the bananas in it. That one had like the sugar and the flour and stuff. And then this one was like everything together, plus the eggs and all the other things. Here is the two. I finally got them to be kind of equal. I don't think they would care if they weren't equal, you know? But I want to get them as easy. So it's going to take, I think it said 50 to 55 minutes and then cool for 10 minutes. So, um, yeah, in, in like 55 minutes, I'll come back and show y'all. So just started the timer. I'll show y'all the beginning of what it looks like. Um, if you can look in there. I'll show y'all from the other. You can't really tell, but those are the two and the time is starting at 30 minutes, 19, 19. So yeah, I'm gonna come back around zero, zero, obviously that's 30 minutes, but then we're going to check on it, and then if it needs extra time, we'll do it like for 20 more minutes. So yeah, I'm out of breath because I had to double everything, put everything in like three, four bowls, you know, and I like to bake this, but I'm not gonna do it again for my family. Probably just because it's like a lot of work and I really was excited to make it. It's just like I didn't know it would be this much work and this much dirty everywhere. Plus when you use the eggs, like one of the eggs wasn't really working. It was like falling apart and breaking. So I just went to the next one. So now I'm going to clean everything up um, and get back to y'all later. cleaned all three bowls. The blue one has still like a lot of stuff in the bottom, but whenever I was cleaning, I think it was the black, the 
brown bowl, the one in the middle. I got my shirt wet and I'm just a little bit uncomfortable. Um, I can show y'all if anything's happened. It's only been like, I don't know, like 20 minutes, maybe almost 20 minutes. You can see in there, they've grown a little bit. So like I need to go change my shirt and get a get my water and whenever I hear a beep I'll come back and show y'all. So I got so I changed into my pajamas because the shirt was wet. And now we're gonna check on it. Add ten minutes to that. Okay, we're gonna add ten minutes after it's over. So about like sixteen more minutes. I can show y'all. My dad said not to open it a lot more because we don't want it to do anything. After that six minutes is over, add 10. Okay. You said after the six minutes is over? Okay. Yeah, so last time I filmed was at 5.52. It's now 6.33. Or 6.34, I don't care. One of those times, a few, around. But here's the banana bread. Um, we're gonna put them in this thing. I'm gonna write on the top, whose is whose. This video isn't gonna go up till Sunday, May 10th, Mother's Day. Just because I made this on Saturday and I'm giving it to my family tomorrow. It's Sunday, it's tomorrow. So I can't really spoil it, you know? I want it to be a surprise. So yeah, um, I'm definitely gonna send it to one of my friends probably, but they don't talk to my aunts or my grandma, so whatever. If they wanna see it, I can send it to them. But other than that, it's gonna go up tomorrow. So I hope you guys are having a great Mother's Day when you see this, and here's the last picture of it. Um, and I'll definitely be posting a couple pictures. I really thought I should make a third one for my family, but it's kinda like, doing it anymore nope this is how it's originally supposed to look in a, like a bread pan actually almost burned myself i didn't use a mat thing for my hand so okay so i just want to say have a great day tomorrow or have a great week i guess i don't know and have a great time with your family for mother's day and i'll see you guys next time bye